Rock and Launch Yoga. Hello. What a way to start beautiful energy opening tonight. the sound. 
sound barrier. That's just so awesome. So when you have your hand over your abdominal, take the other hand and place it right in between the hips. What we're going to do is a vacuum stomach. This is very important for breathing technique. When you inhale, suck in the gut. Inhale, suck it in. Lift the chest. Exhale, suck it in even more. Breathe in. Bring that belly button to the spine. That means you're really squeezing the air. Breathe out. Relax. Now squeeze out all the air, belly button to the spine again. Six more times. Open up. Nice and wide. Press those hips more. And exhale. Bow the head. Come together with the hands and bend the waist. Squeeze the abdominal in. Now that you have the motion of it, go at your own pace. For six more times. And what you're doing here is your breathing in the energies of what you need in your life. Do you need finances in your life? Do you need a new career? Do you need a new home? What's going to make you feel safe in this moment right now? What is your intention? One more time, and we're going to hold the up position with the arms back. Up position, arms back, fingers spread wide, hips press forward. Hold it, breathe in. Breathe out, hold down. Bend at the waist, squeeze the gut in. Relax the shoulders. Drop the head. Breathe out. Inhale, come up. Both hands over the heart. Feel the heartbeat underneath your palms. Feel the strength that's inside of you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Open the eyes if you have them closed. Inhale. Reach out with your palms, bend your knees. Look down, make sure your knees are at least underneath your toes. Squat down, squeeze the bed in. Come up, hand over the heart. So we're re reaching for what we need. And we're 
bringing it into our heart and feeling it in our heart. Reach for what you need. Inhale. Exhale. Hands go over the heart. Pressing it forward. Relax the shoulders. Count one, two. Inhale. Reach forward. Exhale. Then reach forward, squeeze the abdominal. Breathe out. Come together. Inhale, reach for it. Whatever you need in your life. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, hands to heart. Two more times. Reach. Hands to heart. Reach. Hold. Keep the squat. Keep the hold. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale again. Exhale. Bring the hands to heart. Relax the elbows to the side. Feel that release, feel that aha moment. Feel that heart beating stronger. I'm gonna share with you something that you can do in an instant to change your unserving emotion that you're feeling in your body. Depression, anger, sadness, loneliness. Whatever's going on in your life, you can change it like that in an instant. Just by breathing in and breathing out. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. He he he. We're going to do that and have fun at the same time. One, both hands on the belly. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt good. Let it go. Sweep it away. When we sweep the energy away of, oh my gosh, I'm tight, I'm hurting in my body. When we sweep the energy away, oh, I feel all of this chaos in my life. Then we bring in the good stuff. Bring it in good. Sweep it into your body. Bring it Bring a big smile to the face. Inhale. Exhale, hands on hips. Breathe in. Bring the elbows forward. The fingertips come together in the front. You're bowing at the waist. Bending the knees a little bit. Exhale. The thumbs come together behind you. The elbows come together. The chin comes up, pressing the hips forward. In. Out. In. Out. So a lot of abdominal work that we're doing here. And we're doing gut work because that supports the lower back. And anything that's going on in the belly. has everything to do with what's going on in your life. Our stress is formed in the gut. We feel sick. We're more susceptible to getting colds, to feeling down in our body. When we feed our gut good things, like doing exercising, water, Drinking adequate amount of water, eating superfoods, all that kind of stuff helps our bodies. This class and these yoga classes that we have at Outdoors designed to build your abundance in your life. One more time, we're going to come forward and we're going to hold it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thumbs come together. 
We do a slight back bend, really stretch the chest, chin up, and then exhale, relax. Right foot forward, left foot back. Coming into our warrior stance, we're bringing the right knee out towards the right pinky toe. We're coming up into warrior arms. Look out over the middle finger to keep your stable stance. Open up the arms wide like someone has your wrist and they're really stretching you. Press the hips forward. We're going to flow. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left hand to thigh. Right hand to sky. Inhale, reach up nice and slow. Exhale, slowly straighten out right leg and then come down with the right hand to the right thigh or shin in triangle pose. Left hand comes to the sky. We're going to inhale that left hand all the way back to get that nice stretch in the left arm. We're going to exhale nice and slow, bringing that left hand down to the right shin. Once the left hand meets the right shin, we're going to reverse triangle, but look at the right toe for balance. Lift up with the right arm. Reach towards the sky as much as possible, and then exhale that arm back down. Bend the right knee out towards the right pinky toe. Squeeze both thighs in to stabilize your stance. Rotate the left hip towards the right, even if you have to move that left foot to stabilize your body because both arms are going to come in the front of the right knee. Clasp, lock the thumbs into place, and breathe in as you stretch your fingers towards your crown, of, away from the crown of the head. Exhale, straighten out the left knee and then slowly bend forward into forehead to knee on the right leg. Breathe out. Breathe in, bend, right knee again. Inhale, come up slowly with the arms into warrior one pose, clasping the hands together above the head. Lock the thumbs into place by crossing them over each other. Take another inhale and reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, we're going to hop left foot to right. Ready? Exhale, left foot to right hands to heart. Ooh, nice. Step forward with the left foot. Right foot square. Then left knee out towards the left pinky toe. Warrior arms on the left side. Hold your warrior stance when you breathe in. Press the hips forward. Engage the thighs. Exhale. Right hand comes to thigh. Left hand is thigh. Reach, reach, reach up. Inhale, exhale, straighten left knee and then slowly come to triangle on the left side, bringing the left hand down to the left shin, right hand to sky. Open up, right arm all the way back. And then slowly exhale that right arm down. That right arm comes down and touches the left shin. Lift up the left arm in reverse triangle, staring at the big toe for balance. Breathe in. Reach up, breathe out, left hand comes down. Once the left hand meets the left shin, bend the left knee, both. Bend the left knee out towards the left pinky toe and then reach forward. Lock the thumbs into place, we're only here for a second. Breathe in, really reach those arms away from the knee and then exhale, straighten out the leg and then bow forward, forehead to knee. Inhale, come up, bend the left knee. Bring the arms up for warrior one pose, locking the thumbs together above the head. Left, ready? Hop, right foot to left, hands to heart. Give your body a moment to adjust. Breathe in, swan arms up. Hands connect together. Exhale, bow forward down. When you bow forward, you're going to lock the elbows. Excuse me, grab the elbows. 
Grab the elbows and swing from side to side nice and slow. Now sometimes when you're in a forward bend, you're too wobbly in the head, so if that's the case, come all the way down on your right. Really stretch that outside elbow all the way over to get that nice hip stretch. The beautiful hip opener. Bend the knees if you have to, but sometimes when you straighten out the legs, you get a deeper stretch. And that's up to you if you want that deeper stretch. It's nice and slow, just flow from one side to the other. And meet in the middle. Slowly just hang here. Feel that nice stretch in the hips. If you have to grab your legs because it's too much and you need to come up a little bit, do that. But this wonderful stretch in the gluteus maximus helps your lower back and your legs as well. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands out to down dog. Walk the feet back where you're adjusting. We're only here for a moment. We're going to walk the dog. When you do that, one knee is bent and the other knee is straight and you're bending that knee towards the other leg. As you bend that knee towards the other leg and exaggerate your walk, you're feeling wonderful hip stretch. And it's so yummy. We slowly breathe in and stop. We breathe out and bring the knees down. We're going to lie on our right side. When you do that, make sure you have your eye pillow and your regular pillow with you. Lie on your right side, right elbow. I'm going to go through this again for those of you in the back, okay? Your right knee is bent in front of you. Your left knee is bent up towards the sky. Your first position is taking your left hand right down, right here by the hip joint. And you're going to press. But when you press, you're going to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, press. Look over your right shoulder. Exhale, relax. So once again, we're on our right elbow. Our fingers are spread wide to stabilize our stance. Our right knee is bent in front of us to stabilize our, us on the side. Our left knee is bent towards the sky. We're pressing by the hips our quadricep. And we're inhaling and looking over our right shoulder. Exhale, relax. Bring the left hand up to middle quadricep, middle top of your thigh. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look out over your right shoulder. Press. Really, really press that. You're going to find that, ooh, that's tight, man. Yep, your neck is too. Inhale, press the middle part of your leg. Look out over your right shoulder. Relax. Up just above the knee. Grab just above the knee and press. Look out over the right shoulder. And relax. One more time. Press. Look out over the right shoulder. And relax. Ooh, that gives a nice stretch in the neck, doesn't it? Now we're going to do the other side. Roll over onto the left side. Bend the left knee underneath you. The right knee is up towards the sky. Grab right there top part of your quadricep, top part of your thigh with your right hand. Breathe in. Press your right thigh. Holy cow, that's a good one. Look out over your left shoulder. Relax. Inhale, press. Look out over your left shoulder. Relax middle thigh. Breathe in. Press. Look out over your left shoulder. Relax. Inhale. Press. Up just above the knee. Look out over your left shoulder. Exhale. Relax. 
We're going to press there one more time. Inhale, press. Look up over the left shoulder. Exhale, relax. We have about a 35 minute yoga nidra meditation. I want to prepare you for a very comfortable position. You're going to take your pillow. You can use your pillow underneath your head. You can use your pillow underneath your knees. You can use your pillow on top of your feet and open your knees wide. What you're going to do is you're going to take eye and you're going to place it over your eyes. Can you feel it? Your heart beating stronger and stronger and stronger and even louder and louder and louder. The Zen master said as he sat there and stared at you with fire in his eyes. I'm going to tell you a story. And the story is not about how the guy rescued the girl. It's not about traveling to far away places. The story is about you. The journey that you have followed. The journey that you have traveled. And you're looking for the rainbow at the end of the tunnel. You're looking for that prize. That when you get there, oh my God, this feels wonderful. I can't wait to get there to feel fantastic. To have all the money that I want. To have all the possessions that I need. No. This is not that type of story, he said. This is a story that you've already lived. You've lived through pain. You've lived through disappointment. You've lived through fear. It's very much like a video game. When you master the level of fear, of discipline, of disappointment, then you can move on to the next level. And you get the prize. You say to yourself, well, what is the prize? The prize is feeling happy inside your heart. It's feeling low for yourself and others. It's feeling lighter in your body. It's feeling stronger in your mind. And it's feeling at peace in your spirit. I can see it, the Zen master said as he looked at you. Self-doubt. Where is that coming from? Is that coming from the time when someone told you you were not good enough? Was it coming from the time where you lost your job? Is it coming from the time where someone didn't give you a raise? And you felt you deserved it? Shush! Sweep it away. There is no such thing, the Zen master said. There is no such thing as self-doubt. There is only self-confidence.
I can see you. I can see into your eyes. I can see into your heart. I can see into your soul. You see, there's something that you possess that is so powerful. You don't even know that you possess it. Look at me. Do you think that I've been through hard times? Do you think that I've been through disappointment, pain, sorrow? Do you think that I haven't been through physical endurance that leaves me exhausted to a point of falling down to where I feel that I don't want to get up again? I know your story. Wipe it away. The fear. Wipe it away. The self-doubt. Wipe it away. The worry. What is your power? What is your strength that you possess? It's so simple. You might not even believe me. So I'll tell you a story. It is a journey story that you have to travel in your mind. And you have to walk along the path that you have chosen. That's right. Listen to that. You have chosen your path. And along this path, there are rocks that are sharp and dig into your shoes. you have to walk a long distance so your legs are tired your arms are tired your body is tired but somehow you have to keep going because if you stop you'll die and if you die what's the point in living so get up and walk Oh, I see. You're walking along the forest floor. It is a beautiful one, isn't it? But it's dark as well. Do not be afraid to go into the darkness. For there is light on the other side after all. And you always have guides that are with you. All you have to do is close your eyes and see them there. Do you see them? They're little lights. And as you get closer and closer, they grow brighter and brighter. And you can see them with their wings. That's right. They're like fairy wings in the forest. Oh, this is a lovely tale. Yes, indeed. Continue to walk towards them. Because they're guiding you into the darkness. But there is no darkness at all. 
There is only the imagination of fear that the dark beholds. That's it. Keep walking. Yes, do you see that in the distance? The forest is opening up. It's opening up into a pale, sweet field, surrounded again by dark trees. But you can see the pale, wheat field in the full moon's light. Now you can see the light. Yes, and the thousands and thousands of lights that surround the moon and the sky. As it surrounds the moon and the sky, they twinkle. Yes, these are called stars. Do you hear that in the distance? The drums beating louder and louder and louder as if a hundred thousand heartbeats were summoning you to that place of sound, of vibration. And this is called the vibrational abundance sound. And you are on your pathway. You are on your journey to the vibrational sound of the heartbeat. Louder and louder as you walk towards it, down the path through the wheat field. Oh, what is that? A nice, soft, green grass area where you can lie down. Oh, that seems nice. Let's go on over there. And it's up a hill. Ooh. And the hill is kind of rocky underneath the pale wheat grass. And the grass is tall and sometimes it's rough in places. Oh. Keep climbing. There you go. Make your way up the hill. That. Now you can look out. And in the distance see the landscape of tall trees. You can see the lake glistening as the moonbeams sparkle on its surface. You can hear the hawk in the distance as it swaps. and dips towards the earth in the thermal thrust of wind. It's magnificent, isn't it? How its wings spread wide. It is a predator. You feel strong on this mountain with the wind blowing all around you. But you're weary from travel, so you rest. Because in the distance, the drum beats are growing lighter and lighter, as if they're going to bed for the night, along with your slumber. And as you drift off, you become into a comfortable place of rest. And this rest is vital to your body. And you dream, and you dream big. And in your dream, you're standing on a tall mountain top in your warrior garb with your green saber sword in front of you and your shield of strength. <laughs>
enviada. And once again, you're feeling the breeze against your skin. And it's cool. But it doesn't bother you because your heart is beating louder and louder and louder. And with that heartbeat, you feel the strength, you feel the courage to press on. You leave the pain behind. You leave the worry. And there's no more doubt because you are sure of the direction that you are headed. You are sure that your vibrational abundance has reached its heightened awareness. And that awareness is within you. And you breathe in the air. And you breathe out as if the air is crisp and clean. And the energy behind it absorbs into your body and revitalizes your cells and senses. You are strong. You feel complete inside. And that strength and that complete feeling is pressing you onward. So instead of walking, you run down the hill. And again, the pathway goes this way and that, spinning you around. And you think you hear some frightening things behind you, but it's only your imagination as you run down towards the location of the drums beating stronger and stronger. For some reason, these drums are powerful. They fill you with energy to move onward. And so you know that you're sure of the path that you have chosen. Somehow, you are in the vortex of energy. Somehow, this brings freedom to your spirit. Somehow, this feeling withholds unlimited opportunities in your life. And you know that for sure as you're running towards the sound. You flow with this certainty. One step in front of the other. One powerful breath inside of you. Take a strong breath. And slowly let it out. Now you're slowing down. Your heart is strong underneath your chest. And your legs feel wobbly. But strong. Whatever challenges you have in your life. That have come to you thus far. You know you can persevere and discipline yourself in any direction you choose to take. You decide to lose weight. You're going to do it. There is no turning back. You decide to eat properly. You're going to do it. There is no turning back. You decide a healthy way of living will raise my vibrational abundance. That is what you're going to do. It takes 21 days to create a positive habit. I can do anything for 21 days, you say to yourself. Can you? 
Can you really? Are you going to let fear? Are you going to let boredom? Are you going to let your self-doubt push you away and bring you down? No, you say to the forces that want to go against you. No, I'm not choosing that path anymore. I'm choosing the one right in front of me instead of the one back behind me. I'm walking towards the light, even though it seems dark. I have my guides to lead me, and all I have to do is ask. In my mind's eye, which direction should I take? And I will receive the sign that I need to point me in the right distance. So you continue your walk now. And you can hear the coyotes through the forest. You can hear the birds. You can hear the rustle in the leaves. And in the darkness, it's frightening. But once again, you're reminded of your spiritual guides that lead you in the right direction. When you come across a river with a broken bridge, how are you going to get to the other side? This river is wide, at least 30 feet wide, and it's rushing strong. How am I supposed to get to the other side? The bridge is broken. There's no way to get across. I might fall through if I try. There's a rope up above on a branch, but that seems unsafe. Why should I try that? Oh, it's too scary. I don't want to go across. I might fall in. That is not the ch. That is not the path that you started off on, was it? You chose to go down this pathway. You chose to walk in front of, one foot in front of the other. Then do it. Find a way across. There's going to be many rivers with broken bridges in front of you. You have to create that virtual bridge across. In your mind, build it. What will it look like? How can you travel through wet, to go into the dry part of the earth. One foot in front of the other. That's right. So you step onto a rock, into the river, and you slip and you fall. And it hurts when you fall. Yes. You've scratched your elbow and knee. What do you do? You don't just lie there, the water rushing over you. You get up and do it again, one foot in front of the other. It only takes a step. And then you feel the strength. The strength is your breath. That's right. That is the key. Breathe in. Put one foot in front and walk across the river. So now you've come to this place across the river. The pathway seems lighter, seems smoother. In the horizon, you see the sun come up over the mountains and it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter 
and oh, it's a beautiful sunrise. The clouds in the sky that painted a purple and yellow and green landscape that contrasts all around you. The brown hills, the tops of the trees, and this is such a beautiful place. And all you had to do was wade through the darkness to find this beautiful place of peace. And now you start to hear them again, the drums beating. And the drums are guiding you on your path and you start to run. And with your sword in one hand and your shield in the other, you are protected against anything that might come at you. You are prote protected against unkind words. You are protected against slick individuals. You are protected against A flat tire on the side of the road that upsets you. You breathe in and you know that you're disciplined, that nothing's going to stop you. You breathe in to feel the strength of your mind and your body. And you take one step in front of the other until you get through the murky this that's life's journey to the sunrise it's beautiful in the sky with the heart beating stronger and stronger with the rhythm of the drums walk towards the sound walk towards the light And behold, as you come up over the jutted rocks and look down into the valley, there's a lake in the middle. In the middle of the lake, there are birds. And there's your peace as the sun glistens off the surface of the lake like diamonds. And the cabin in the distance has a smoke trail coming up from its chimney. And it's warm and then it's inviting. And the sound seems to be coming from it. And as you go near and near, your heart's beating stronger as you're running. And you start to slow down as you go near the cabin. And you start to notice all the beautiful things around you. You notice the birds. You notice the Leaves on the hardwood trees turning yellow and orange. You notice the wood that surrounds the cabin is strong and stable. You notice the pathway is red beneath your feet and the grass is tall at your ankles and the flowers fragrant and colorful all around you. This is your place that you've been waiting for. All you had to do was close your eyes. All you had to do was breathe in. All you had to do was to imagine yourself in the most peaceful place that you feel in your heart. Right here, 
right now. Feel your heart beat beneath your palm. Feel the strength that you wield inside of you with your breath. You are strong. You are whole inside. But there's something missing. As you walk into the lighted cabin, you thought you saw somebody inside. And you walk further and further in. And you notice that somebody is a reflection of the mirror on the wall. And that's you. And you feel your heart beating strong underneath your palm. Because you realize that that third thing that you are looking for, that you need, is love in your life. And you feel it in your body right now. You feel it surrounding you. And somehow this feeling inside is growing like a heartbeat, ripples out to the skin shield around you and it's rippling out past your skin to the energy bubble you're surrounded in it's like looking into the eyes of a beautiful child and you're seeing them smile And that smile has so much love in it for you. So much strength that you feel because of that love. But you're looking into the eyes of your own self. As you look into the moon, repeat these words out loud. I'm going to be too loud so no one else is going to hear you. It's okay. Repeat these words after me. I have the power to change my body, mind, and spirit. No circumstance will hinder me from what is mine. Right now is my time. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Allow these words to sink in. Allow these words to come into your life and transform you. Repeat the word over and over again. I am strong. I am whole inside. I am love. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for this beautiful opening of Moon Yoga with me. The music in the yoga nidra meditation was done by Jason. Give him a big round of applause.